Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome lesson right here on Lickin' Riff in which we'll learn a full finger style arrangement of Where Is My Mind? I'm gonna play it for you first so you can see and hear how it goes and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick with tabs right here on the screen. It goes like this, enjoy. Alright, so before we start, I want to thank the private student who purchased this arrangement and decided to donate it to the channel for everyone's enjoyment. Thank you very much, private student. We all appreciate it. So before we start, you'd like to know this E chord, if you don't uh, already. This is E, okay? Um, it's a D chord up two frets, okay? D, D sharp, E. And you play strings one, two, three, and six, okay? On strings one, two, three, you have four, five, four, and this is... E, okay? This is your E chord for uh, this arrangement. So you can start with this. Okay, as a sort of an intro if you like. Or you can jump right into the main riff. Okay? And basically what I'm playing here are strings uh, 2-1-2-1. Two, one, two, one. Okay, and if you want to play a sort of an intro thing, uh, you just play the bass with it and play it and vibrate it if you like. And then, okay, you start with the full dynamic. And the full dynamic, basically, you play the bass, okay, the sixth string, with the first note. Okay, and when you play the second string again, you play... Okay, the harmony, you play strings two and three together. Now, I play it with my thumb because it has a different dynamic than when you play it with your finger. Okay, with your finger, it's kind of a chord sound, and when you play it with your thumb, it's kind of a beat. Okay, you got what I mean? It's, it's kind of a beat feeling. Okay, uh, you can feel the beat with the thumb because you're used to playing beats with your thumb. So, um, if you want to play it with the finger, with your first finger, Okay, then go ahead and do it, but if you like to, uh, you know, have the groove, okay, use your thumb uh, on the third string. And then you do the same thing with C sharp minor. You put the bar on four, A minor shape, and you play, okay, exactly the same thing, but your bass note is four on the fifth string instead of the, fi the sixth string, so... Yeah, you can play um, you can play strings three and four instead of just the third string. Okay, the full chord. But I think it's a little bit unnecessary. We want to keep it thin, okay? A thin sort of sound. So okay, playing the third string again kind of fits the the motif here. Um, then you have G sharp. Okay, and here you do want to play the whole chord. Um, so you start with the second string with your bass, okay? and then when you play the second string again, you play strings two, three, and four, okay, for the full chord. 
okay? Because um, in E major, the G sharp chord is a minor chord. And here, okay, it's a major chord. So you want to emphasize that. That's why I play the full chord here. And then you have this. Okay? It's an A chord, but I put this. Okay? I put four and two on strings two and three. And again, I play uh, strings two, one, one, two, one. Okay? And this kind of creates the, um, uh, the strange sort of sound. Okay, that if you'd have distortion on, you'd get the same effect as in the original song. And the two on the third string is for the chords. So you play the bass with the first string this time, right? Okay? Right? Not with the second string. And then you play one, two, one. And with the last first string, you play the two on the third string. So you get A, third string, okay? Which is another A note. So. Okay? And then you get this. Now played uh, as a standalone lick, it sounds very, very strange. Okay? But when you play it uh, with everything else, it sounds fine. So you get E. Okay? Actually, that's the next one. Okay? C sharp minor. Same idea. G sharp major. So you play the whole chord, and then and then A. You see, in context, it works. Uh, that's kind of the magic uh, in music. It's kind of like, this is an awkward sound, but inside, you know, this chord sounds great. Or this chord. Um, there's no such thing as a bad sound in music. Even, you know, this can work in a chord. But I'm digressing. Um, I'm talking about... Um, this, which is a very strange chord, but it works. And then you start the verse, which starts with this. Okay? It's strings two, one, one, two, and you play the bass, the sixth string, with the first string. And then you play one, two, and then the third string, again, with your thumb. Okay? It's a syncopation thing. Okay? Syncopation is and one. Okay? And beat. Okay? And then you have this. Five again on the second string, then you put the bar on the fourth string, and you put the C sharp minor, but without the finger on the second string, because you have... Okay? It's four, four, six. Okay? Four, four on the second string, six on the third string, and of course you play the bass with the first four. Then you play strings two, three again, and then... The bass note is the sixth on the fourth string. Okay, the second bass note. Okay, again, the syncopation thing. Then you have G sharp and A, just bass chord, bass chord. Okay, and I prefer to have it a kind of a staccato, uh, silent chord sound. Okay, um, I play the sixth string and then strings two, three, and four. Okay, and I mute it immediately. I just stop pressing. Yeah, okay, stop pressing the uh, strings. And that's your first line. Now, the second line is the same thing. And then you can play the four on the second string before the next G sharp. And then you get this. Okay? Um, it's E, okay? E major 7 if you want to be technical about it, but the major 7 isn't in the chord, it's uh, in the melody. Uh, it's kind of like the 4 and 2, okay, for that A chord uh, we played a while ago, and a little while ago. Um, and because it's E, it's not 4 and 2, it's 4 and 1, okay? It's 4 and 1 on strings 2 and 3. And again, the melody is strings 2, 1, 1, 2. Okay, and the thumb plays the sixth string, okay, with the first first string, and then, okay, after the melody ends, you 
play one on the third string with your thumb. Right? And then you have this. Right? It's back to that C sharp sus2 chord, okay? C sharp minor with uh, this finger off of the second string, so you have four on the second string. Uh, you play this. Okay, it's strings two, three, three, two. And your bass strings now are strings five and four. Okay, you can play both of them after the melody couplet. Okay, and then you have this. Okay, and then. Okay. Now, this is kind of a fragmented line, but you can keep the uh, bass note going. Okay, just keep the bass note on. Okay, and then you have the open A bass note. So, it's two on the second string, then you have four and four on strings, one and six, and you want to play it with your third and fourth fingers, because you need the first finger. Okay, it's important. Um, you play... Okay, four two zero on the E string with the G sharp okay, bass on four. And then the alternating bass note is two on the fourth string, so you need the first finger again. Okay? Okay, you want to keep both the first and the sixth string going. Okay, you want them to ring. And then you do the same line but with A instead of G sharp. Okay, so it's easier. Um, so that's your verse, basically, okay? It's E, okay, and then the third string at the end, with that C sharp sus 2, then bass chord, bass chord, then again, okay? And I don't know if I, if I mentioned that, uh, if not, I apologize, you can play the bass notes, the first bass note, after the first couplet. Okay, you can play, okay? okay, you don't have to play the bass right along with the four on the second string, you can play it afterwards. Okay, you can play two melody notes, bass, two melody notes, bass, okay, for full syncopation. Okay, the thumb always follows the first and second string. And then again, and you can finish with, um, okay? When you put the bar for G sharp, you play the four on the second string uh, first, okay? And then you play the chord. Um, bass chord, bass chord, and then you have this, um, okay? The four and one on strings two and three, and then, Okay, the C sharp uh, says two again. Okay, this time strings two and three. And then you have the G sharp and A line, where you have to be careful to keep the strings ringing. Okay, strings one and six still ringing. Okay, and then again, with A instead of G sharp. That's your verse. Now, the chorus goes like this. and then you repeat it. Um, it's the same set of chords, okay? and I play kind of like a pick strum. Okay? You can pick the whole chord, okay? or okay, embellish it, or okay, you can strum it if you like. Um, the melody is the first string three times. So bass, chord, and then the E string twice more on four, and then, of course, you need the alternating bass on the third string, so. You put it right before the last note. Okay, you have three G sharp notes, so right before the third one, you play the third string. Okay, and then you put C sharp minor on and play 
okay, strings three and five, and then the alternating bass on the fourth string. And then you do the same thing you did with E, you do it with G sharp, okay, or any bass note you want. And then for A, okay, you do two on the second string with the open A string, and then five on the E string. Now you can harmonize it, you can play five and six on strings one and three, you can do, okay, or you can uh, bar for a full A chord up to the fourth string, you bar two, and you add five on the E string, and you do whatever you like. There you can play the fourth, the third string, the full chord. I believe that minimalism is the right answer here. There you can play this, or there, play the harmony, okay? or an octave harmony, but again, this is a little bit too much. This works, works fine. It's a, it's a thin, it's a thin sound song on purpose, so the arrangement is built to reflect that. Okay, and then you can just play the intro again and just loop the whole song. So go download the tab from the website, the link is below in the description. But before you do, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I've got a ton of lessons here, just like this one and more. Check the playlists, uh, there's really a ton of lessons and material here for free. Everything is for free, the tab included, okay? All the tabs are for free, but if you want to give something back anyway and help out with making these lessons, making your guitar education, there's a Patreon link in the description below. Uh, whatever you choose to give back, I thank you in advance for your generosity and it all goes right back into Lick and Riff into your guitar, 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 guitar education, guitar education. Uh, so, um, that wasn't a jab, it was just me being stupid. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, enjoy, go play this, see you at the next lesson.